Big Brown is healthy enough for a morning gallop at Belmont. And trainer Rick Dutrow likes what he sees. Cool, calm, collected, gallop good. Couldn't be happier with the horse. Big Brown still has a crack in his left front hoof, as seen here. It is five-eighths of an inch long. A hoof specialist laced it up with steel sutures. I've been reading people saying that they think this jeopardizes life. That's absolute nonsense. This is just a slight, slight crack. We're being as precautious as we can because we're headed for the Triple Crown. The sutures come out Friday when they'll apply an acrylic fiberglass patch to the hoof and leave it on for Saturday's race. We're dealing with something that was designed to heal itself. It regenerates new tissue. It's, it's taking its course. Some people call it nature, I call it God. Big Brown already won the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, and Dutrow says he'll seize Belmont too if they stick to the strategy. Just stay out of his way, let the horse play the game. That's it. If he wins, he'll be the 12th Triple Crown champion and the first since 1978. Here's Big Brown walking in front of a statue of a past Triple Crown winner, Secretariat. The horse's hoof problems are attracting sympathy. This is a letter from a little girl wishing him well, with a little band-aid on a picture she drew of the horse. The animal rights group PETA is also keeping a close eye on Big Brown. They've called for an independent review of the horse's hoof by outside veterinarians. But Big Brown's owners are not inclined to let any outsiders near their star. At least not until after the race is run. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, Elmont, New York.